Hello there guys and welcome to the longer term review of the Pixel 4 port for the POCO F1. This ROM is brought to you by the Oofian whose uh, telegram I have linked in the description below. This is not a full review but instead a long term review on how the ROM has held up. As it is a direct port from the Google Pixel phone, all the Google goodies come pre-installed. But it's a lighter ROM compared to the stock ROM as most of the Google uh, bloatware is removed but which can be installed from the Google Play Store if needed. Until this time, performance and pixel features were something I couldn't imagine coming together. After going through the community messages, I came to know that this ROM was being highly praised for its smoothness and performance. It was also being highly praised for its gaming performance which was the thing that really got my attention. After giving the ROM a shot, here are my thoughts on this. Performance has held really well. There are no lags or stutters. Very rarely there is a slight stutter. There is no app hangs. It comes preloaded with Genos kernel. The Genos kernel is being maintained by the person who built the ROM itself. So it's getting regular updates, which I really like. Coming to gaming, the gaming performance is very smooth with almost zero frame drops. The heating is not too much, but it's not so relevant to talk about heating because gaming causes heating anyways. Even after long sessions of gaming, the ROM manages to cool down very easily. Now let's talk about app launch speeds and general performance. The app launch speed hasn't fallen down dramatically, it's just a slight decrease which is expected over time. Those were the pros and my experiences with the ROM. So now coming to the cons. Uh, one bug that I noticed in this ROM is that the zoom app uses the infrared camera by default. I don't know why this is happening till now no solutions have been found for this bug. But uh, if you are a Google Meet user like me, you don't have any other issues. No other app is using the AR camera except zoom. Coming to the developers of this ROM. The ROMs they develop are like the complete package. There's a good link between developers and the community. And uh, their ROMs come pre-built with the disabled force encryption file which is especially useful for me who switches ROMs every now and then. So these were my experiences. Let's conclude. Who is this ROM for? This ROM is for the people who want the stock Google experience. And uh, according to my user experience, this ROM is the complete package. This ROM is a proof that Google Pixel experience can be mated with performance and even gaming performance. It's a ROM to experience yourself. Just try it out if you can guys.